All right, say we live. Let's check the page if that's so. All right, Shalom. 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 We're a few buds here from GMS Land Church. Come with another lesson to the Spirit before we get started. We want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Prophet Double honors to our apostles and our elders, a great millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to our Akim, pushing the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom. Wam. Peace and blessings to the sincere listeners who listen, subscribe to the man, Dr. Shem, great millstone. Um, so, um, you know, just uh, coming, you know, through the spirit, um, you know, with a lesson, just um, pertaining to order, you know, um, for those who saw or witnessed, you know, last week's camp, you know, we had a, a, a Edomite, you know, a, a Sodomite and an Edomite at, uh, combination, you know, um, spirit come to the camp in a very disorderly manner, all right, and try to disrupt you know, the message, you know, of, you know, that we were bringing out through the spirit. But, you know, as a testament to, um, you know, the leadership of our camp and also the order in which the, you know, the, the, the brothers in the body move, you know, we, we were able to handle that situation, you know, um, in, a, in a very uh, high and dignified way, in a very high and dignified manner, you know. So, you know, we're just going to, you know, go into pretty much the, the theme and topic of order. And we're going to use... Uh, the situation that happened with, with the, our camp last week as an example of, you know, the benefits of moving in order through the spirit. All right, so, um, brother, I can get that Colossians 4. Uh, I got you. Kind of good. Uh, this is the book of Colossians chapter 4, and, uh, verse 5. It says, walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Yeah, so the scriptures instruct us to uh, walk in wisdom, man, you know. Because we you know we know and understand that these times that we're in, that we're living in, especially with the fall of Esau Edom's kingdom, you know, is a, a dangerous, evil time. All right, so it's very, very important. Really, it's it's uh, imperative that you know we walk and utilize a certain level of wisdom. Okay, because you know one thing that um a coach told me years ago is it's a uh, it's very quick and very easy to get into a situation, but it can be very hard and very long to get out of it. You know, so, you know, understanding, um, you know, that, that uh, you know, these people, they hate us, you know, for, for rebuking and correcting in the gates, man, you know, and then also the people, the mass of people hate us for the testimony of our Lord that we, you know, that we have through the spirit, all right, um, that, you know, these situations will come and they will arise, all right, but like the scriptures say, walking wisdom towards them that are without, all right, redeeming and also uh, uh, marking the time, man, because, it's only a matter of time before uh, uh, even Esau got to got to pull this plug all together, man. You know, mm -hmm. even with the uh, the individual from last week, you know, he was speaking to you know to and towards uh, uh, us being near his his home, in which you no, know, he stayed like an apartment building type of situation, you know. But our our um, uh, our appearance and us being where we are doing what we're doing, it cuts these people to the heart, man. You know, mm -hmm. and and they hate to see. The fact that Yahweh Bashem Shot is rejoining, is uh, bringing us back as a people. They hate to see the brotherhood and camaraderie working uh, before their face, especially when we move in the spirit of order. Mm -hmm. right. All right, you go ahead, bro. Uh, continuing on, yeah, I read verse 4, uh, Colossians 4, like I read verse 5, Colossians chapter 4, verse 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace. Seasons of salt that you may know how you how you ought to answer every man. Right, and and one point, um, you know, for those who uh, either saw you know the camp from last week or who will see the camp from last week um, at some point, one point that uh, we want to highlight is the fact that uh, uh, the, the speaker, you know, uh, uh, in that particular moment, the captain Gamal Yala was speaking, and either. Uh, the, the Edomite had his phone out recording, trying to pretty much, you know, pin us out to be the bad guy, so to speak. Provoke. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, like the uh, officer said, provoking us, man. All right, trying to uh, shut up, uh, put us in a bad light. But um, uh, the captain, you know, made sure to stay, keep it spiritual, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, stick to the scriptures, you know, an answer and uh, um, exchange with him, you know, you know, as the spirit led him to, you know. Mm -hmm. In a in a uh, in a proper way, okay, in a, in a, a way and in a manner that hey, it's what the Bible says. Thus says the Bible. Thus says the Scripture. You know, 
the, uh, the, yeah, the Most High is gonna uh, uh, destroy the wicked. Mm. You know, it's, it's not it's not it's not a matter of color. It's not a color thing. Mm. You know, because um, a, a, some people, you know, a lot of people, you know, do um, are familiar with the Hebrew Israelites to a certain extent. You know, and they may have a um, a, a certain perspective of a, a little bit of, of understanding of, as far as what we're speaking on. But for the most part, a lot of people don't. You know, like I said, it's just just the um, the the, vi the vision and the optic of so-called black men, uh, Native American men, okay, and uh, uh, Latino men getting together for any type of cause. It it already puts them on their heels. Yeah. And especially when scriptures are coming out, okay, and and, and uh, uh, they're getting uh, cut, okay, and they're getting uh, um, you know chastised through the spirit, yeah. and they're receiving you know the the, the judgment verbally. Mm -hmm. Man, it cuts them to the heart, man. Yeah, you know, uh, if I could quickly add to your point, because you know how people say that, uh, you know, your first, you know, the first time when you meet someone is very important. First I, impression. Yeah, your first impression, how they uh, say in the world. Well, that's why the, the Lord had the spirit of how we even teach change. Right. You know, because now that the whole the Hebrew Israelite, you know, going out and forth into the world, now these people saying us just exhorting, you know, not. You know, screaming and, and yelling down at, at the top of our lungs because, hey, that's why uh, the apostle and the elders, you know, just going back to the leadership, tell them just what teach the word, man. Mm -hmm. you know, because that's the easy and, and simple way, the uh, most simplest way to get your point across. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Quick piece up. You got it. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. It says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even. To the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Esau came up um, deceitfully, mm -hmm. of course, right. but then at towards the end of the camp, when he received his judgment and he got that curse put on him, <laughs> the devil came out because he got cut deep down in the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Because my like brothers were saying, you know, this the scriptures really do that, do the heavy hit. Mm -hmm. Like all we doing is just delivering the, the impact from the scriptures and the spirit of Yahweh Shinar Shah is what really brings it home. It's the mm -hmm. it's that saying where you show the true colors. Mm -hmm. When someone comes up to the camp and uh, they may have a, like a malicious intent or you know uh quote unquote you know, whatever ill all, will. Yeah, ill will. Mm -hmm. You know, come up looking all innocent and stuff, but really have a different in intentions. And then the scriptures come out; it really shows their true colors. Mm -hmm. And that's how it's. Uh, that's why it's pivotal to stick to the scripts, mm -hmm. because sticking to the scripts is going to help you discern mm -hmm. and pinpoint who's who and who's wicked and who's not. Right? Yeah. You know? I got a quick precept. You got. It. So this is First Corinthians, same chapter. Uh, well, chapter you go. This is First Corinthians fourteen and twenty. And it says, Brethren, be ye not children in understanding. Ooh. How be it be ye children? How how be it in malice? Hey, you said it said, be ye not children in what? In understanding. In understanding, right. Because children, they're kind of they're what you could say, gullible. Mm -hmm. And being someone's gullible means they believe in anything mm -hmm. that you tell them. That's yeah. why the scriptures say what? Believe not every word. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, the scriptures say when Jeremiah trust not every uh, brother because mm -hmm. he will utterly supplant. Mm -hmm. Then you got in uh, was that Michael uh, try to put you not trusting every uh, friend or guy. Or guy. Mm -hmm. Then you got in uh, Sirach the yep. sixth chapter. Be not hasty to credit somebody. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Okay. I see. Like as a, as the officer was saying. Um, how uh, the Captain Kamal Allah handled it and how it was handled it by the entire camp. We had an understanding of what spirit this man was coming in. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We we knew exactly and and as the, and as uh, the brother just said not too long ago, hey we, we we some of us wanted to wanted to wanted to mock him and smash him out. You know? But the spirit said the scripture says how be it and malice be ye children. Okay? Because what what if, if if we show malice and, and we did that on camera and we allowed him to win, what type of image would that have painted toward for us? You know, mm -hmm. what and, and that would have been an image that that would perpetuated through all of the camps. You know, Matthew, Matthew so 10. so so we we had to be we have to understand 
not only the spirit that this man is coming in, mm -hmm. we need to understand how our actions are yeah. going to reflect us moving forward. I you know? Some, yeah, uh, just to uh, land back up. Yeah, our actions uh, are reflected. Yeah. You know, even even if you know it get things get to the point where things have to get physical in the sense that we're attacked. You know what I'm saying? That's defending ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, we don't just let somebody just pound on us. Right. But at the same time, we're gonna do everything in our power, you know, possible to be peaceable with all men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even though he was extremely disrespectful, he was uh, uh, really <clears throat> in a sense assaulting brothers. Man, he was too close, and he was doing it on purpose to yeah. entice. And like the uh, officer said, provoke us so that we, he can uh, 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 play the victim. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But um, like like the officer said, man, you know we understand and how how important it is to be very um, thoughtful, okay, and being in order in our actions because everything we do is not just about us; it's a reflection of, of us as a body. Mm -hmm. You got to reset them. Yeah, I got some. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter thirteen, verse seventeen. It says, "Obey them that have the rule over you." And submit yourselves, for, the, for they watch for your souls as they as they that must give account that they may do it with joy mm -hmm. and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. And I brought this out because a lot of guys, you know, who, who claim themselves to be Israelite, they buck up at our apostles and elders, right. you know, and they deem themselves as apostles or elders or whatever or whatever the case may be, not knowing that situations arise mm -hmm. you know and when situations arise they act not according to the scriptures because they didn't submit themselves to the leaders of israel man mm -hmm. which is the who the apostles and the elders of great millstone man starting with apostle Tahar, apostle ariyamla apostle gabar and apostle rakha mm -hmm. and the elders on down man mm -hmm. you know and that's what shows for example the situation with the, uh right. sakari right. man right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we all know that what Sakari was once <coughs> part of a great millstone, man, but right. he broke away. Mm -hmm. Henceforth, you had the, the situation with his Passover, man. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. that's uh, the, yeah, I, really, I, I was going to say that's them trying to create their own righteousness. Mm -hmm. and just to land back on my other brothers, the, the book of Romans says, bring pits not evil for evil. Mm -hmm. And what provide what? I want to say, it was evil. Yeah. Well, it was said, provide, I want to say, like, if you can, I think it's in Romans. Yeah, we can find it. Bring it up. Uh, grab that Matthew ten real quick. Uh, start at verse fifteen, uh, sixteen. Because okay. just to land back up what the officer said, as far as, hey man, you know we we're in the flesh too. Like, let's, let's shoot it straight. Like, yeah, brother, men are ready to, to uh, you know defend themselves, man, if if need be. Yeah. But the thing about it is, we're not going out there for that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If any, if anything happens. That it gets to that point, Lord, Lord willing, it does it. But if anything ever does get to that point, yeah. we we have to clearly say that we've done everything in our power to prevent that from happening. Man, you know. Go ahead, bro. Come. This is uh, Matthew ten and sixteen. It says, "Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves." See, you know, we understand that. Uh, you know, we get funny looks, man. You know, that people uh, gnash their teeth and, and hiss at us, you know, that people hate us. But like I said, the testimony that we have. But at the same time, as Yahweh Shai says, man, he sent this out to be sheep in the midst of wolves. Mm -hmm. You know, we trust we trust that we can follow the spirit and follow the order and leadership mm -hmm. and that we'll, we'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and uh, even uh, also that uh, through following the leadership and staying in order, that if anything ever does go down, man, when, when the authorities come, they'll be like, man. They're gonna be on our side, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that even happened with us when we was in uh, Decatur. Yeah, you know with that, with that, with the uh, with Big Bertha, you know, yeah. trying to uh, take take our stuff, man, and yeah. get physical. Yeah. And the, and, the, and we have we you know we have a reputation. You know what I'm saying? We we out there every week. We not we you know we we we're in the spirit of being instant in season and out of season. So by being out there consistently, you know, we show that you know uh, uh, we have a certain integrity. Mm -hmm. You know, so even when the officer pulled up. And you know, of course, he want to immediately side with uh, uh, the Edomite overweight, obese chick. You know what I'm saying? He's like, "What happened? What happened?" Like, and really, in the spirit, he wanted to come down on us, but we had we had it on evidence. We had it on, on camera. You know, we were able to show him, like, "Look, like, nah, she was in the wrong. She was trying to, you know, uh, 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 get physical with brothers, take our take our possessions. We would just, you know, keep, keep a hold of our stuff. You know what I'm saying? And 
when the officer saw that, he had to agree. He asked yeah. us if we wanted to press charges. Yeah. You know, and you know, Buzz was like, nah, like, we just want her to leave us, you know, pretty much leave us alone. Yeah. You know? And if I can add to your point, too, because we we know that the ministry is bigger than us mm -hmm. as individuals. Mm -hmm. You know, we have GMS, the letters GMS on the front of our page name. You know, so by us acting in a certain way, that would be representation of our apostles and elders. Mm -hmm. Not only them, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah instructed us to handle our way, uh, ourselves in the way that we actually did. Mm -hmm. So we know that this thing, um, and because the, the topic is order, we know that according to order, the way we uh, reacted to the situation was a reflection on those that were above us, mm -hmm. you know, starting with Yahweh, Wadi Yahweh Shai, and our apostles on down. If, mm -hmm. if I could quickly add to your mm -hmm. point, that's how you know it's the spirit because we recently separated here in Atlanta with the, the elder brothers having their own camp and the, 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 the other brothers having another camp. That Edomite could have went to the elders camp, but mm -hmm. the Lord had it to, to, for him to come to our camp to try us. Mm -hmm. Just going into what you were saying, just the Lord trying to see uh, order, man. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? and, and if I was going to say too, because had he went to the elders, it was going to be the same response mm -hmm. as he got and how we handle the situation that goes to show you that we're moving in the correct spirit and as one as a body each individual acting as their own individual seeking out their own salvation you know with fear and trembling but as a whole we all have to be um, on one accord mm -hmm. uh, and i real quick i got the word order oh, this is big. yeah oh yeah you got it kind of, kind of. <laughs> uh, uh it says uh, this is order on the online entomology. It says, body of persons living under a religious discipline. And we know this is not a religion. This is our heritage. Mm -hmm. So we're living under a, a heritage um, of discipline. You know, all throughout the scriptures, uh, it tells us anything. Hey, man, anything you want to know or any situation you get in, you want to know how to handle it. It's in the scripts, mm -hmm. you know. So we're living under that same discipline, you know, as our forefathers did, you know, when certain situations came up, mm -hmm. right? It says a body of persons living under a religious discipline, position, a state, rule, mm -hmm. regulation. Mm -hmm. uh, it also says line, rank, uh, and that's another thing I want to touch on too, the rank, the mm -hmm. ranking system, you know, uh, the captain which was, I believe, the highest at the time in ranking mm -hmm. uh, when Edomite walked up. He was, speaking. We, he was speaking. You know, the spirit had the, where the highest ranking man was speaking and nobody broke their rank and tried to talk over the brother and handle the Edomite. Mm -hmm. You know, and then as the situation escalated, everybody acted in their role, man, according to their rank. Mm -hmm. You didn't have the youngest brother out of the group trying to intervene and, you know, yeah. uh, uh, bring precepts or cut the Edomite or fight him because we all knew by order that the situation had to be uh, handled uh, in a certain manner. And if I can say real quick, and the, the beautiful thing about it too is it, it wasn't just, you know, the, the camp was all loosey-goosey and then mm -hmm. Edomite comes yeah. and then all right, everybody tightened up. No, brothers were moving in the spirit of order throughout the entire camp. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a lot of demons out there that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and from, you know, from the open of camp, all the way through the end of camp, brothers were moving in order. And, you know, you know, we're all officers here, you know, so, you know, we're kind of in the middle as far as, you know, we have bishops and deacons and captains ahead of us, but we also have younger disciples, you know, that are looking to, looking at us to lead. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as, as far as being in, you know, kind of in the middle of, you know, the, the rank and order system, it's beautiful to have brothers who know how to follow. You know what I'm saying? Because even myself. You know, I'm looking at the, the men who are above, you know, uh, above me in the hierarchy to see how they're moving, what they're doing. At the same time, I'm I'm we're, I'm looking to manage the younger men as well. But my fir the first vision goes to okay, what are the men who are uh, uh, ahead of you in the spirit? What are they doing? Mm -hmm. And then for the younger men, they need to be doing the same thing. So when younger men are looking up to us as you know men of a certain office and you know a certain rank, so to speak, you know what I'm saying we need to have the the proper example in order to uh, show them so they can move accordingly. And then they did a beautiful job, like the officer said, of uh, moving according, according to how the spirit was moving within the, uh, the order of the, of the camp. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit more on the definition you got, bro. Uh, it says, 
to fit together, mm. you know, and the scriptures compare us to all uh, different members of the body acting mm. as one, mm-hmm. you know, um, but you can't get a full body with ev- without everything fitting in its proper order, mm-hmm. you know, so uh, moving uh, as the scriptures um, gives an analogy, you know, as the campus being a body, you know, knowing that the things are written before time are written for our learning. That was an example of how we should handle the situation. Mm-hmm. Which you got uh, making out. Right, Con. This is uh, Philippians um, 2 and 15. And it says, That ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of Yahweh, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, mm-hmm. among whom ye shine as lights in the world. You see? So we, 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 we came across as harmless. And blameless, you know, you can't say that 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 we did anything, you know. It was just a provocation the whole time. the The whole thing was set up to see if we would be provoked into acting, so we can, so an accusation can be pointed. Aha! You see, these guys are violent. Aha! These guys are extremists. Look what they did. I don't care what I did, but look at how they responded to it. Look how they reacted to it. You know. But because of that, now we're developing a reputation of. Wait, they are harmless. Wait, they are blameless. So if 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 they come at us, it is it is it is unjust. Mm-hmm. You know, it is it is an it is, it is, it is an unjust judgment because we didn't do nothing. We just out on the highways and the byways preaching the word, the, the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and because you hated he that rebuked within the gate, and we not provoked by you, mm-hmm. now you want to do something to us. Right. That's why we are. Uh, that's why you guys. I was just gonna make a quick point, just like with uh, Pontius Pilate mm-hmm. and Yahweh Shah. Thou sayest. Yeah, he says, Thou sayest. They, they didn't have any offenses to bring against Yahweh Shah. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. They didn't have no offenses to, to bring against Yahweh Shah because he was innocent, man. That's right. You know? So you got it, bro. I was gonna say, just to, you know, laying back off the brothers, anytime you see something, because every camp ain't like that. Mm-hmm. You know, some camps just, no one comes up. Mm-hmm. And we prophesy to the wind. Mm-hmm. So when you got specific camps like that are that are going to be remembered and put in the archives for a long time, mm-hmm. those are those are certain tests that the Lord sends to see if there's any schisms within the body, mm-hmm. and if there are, they're going to be you know of course dealt with accordingly. You know what I'm saying? So with with the what the officers are saying as a testimony, which is which is true, hey brothers were tight the entire time, you know. There wasn't really any, there was no schisms in the body at that very moment and during the entire camp. Mm-hmm. And that was just uh, a faith boosting moment mm-hmm. to be like, man, brothers done grown. Yeah. Brothers done got better. Go ahead. I would have made a quick point too, because you know, the night before we had just went through the Passover service. Mm-hmm. Right. So every man was in the mentality of you know, so the song, the song, song that said, you know what I'm saying? So when we hit the, when we hit the highway on Saturday, we was all out there like, man, it's gonna be a very spiritual camp. We wasn't even talking about that, right? We sure was. We and, talking about that. And uh, we talked the night before. The night right. before, yeah. And uh, another thing, too, even though it was solemn, morale was extremely high. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though brothers yeah. was like locked in, focused, mm-hmm. laser focused. You know, we may have had that you know stern, serious look on their faces. Morale was extremely high. Like you know, yeah, man, let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's how it was. Everybody was working in conjunction with one another. Mm-hmm. Like, like the, the word said, together, right. yeah. mm-hmm. you know, camaraderie. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Come on. And if I can say something real quick, and then we can get back to that Matthew 10, because um, the officer spoke to, uh, towards how every camp isn't like that. And that's why it's a good thing, too, to, you know, in a sense, practice like you play, man. You know, if it's a camp where it's not a lot of traffic, or you might, you know, buzz might be in a smaller camp, still move orderly, man. You know, still keep things tight. You know, if you know, you can't hold signs, hold signs. You know, uh, communicate as far as if you have to go to the restroom or do anything, have a brother walk with you. Do those small things, okay? Because uh, uh, practicing those good habits will make a second nature to when you really need to be locked into the spirit and really stay tight and uh, uh, reduce and minimize some schisms, like the officer said. You know, we can go to the Matthew then we're gonna open it up to you know because yeah, got we start back pick it back up at seventeen, read through twenty. Uh, Matthew 10 and 16, it says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Mm-hmm. 
but be aware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. All right, now, you know, of course, this is speaking of uh, Jake as well, you know, uh, the, the, the wicked of our nation. Okay, but this also goes to just uh, uh, councils and, you know, the higher-ups and just society as a whole, man, you know? There's, there's going to come a time in which, you know, these people are really going to really be so condemned in the spirit, they're going to really want us off the streets, man, mm -hmm. you know? And just like, like the officer said, as far as how every camp may not be like that, and how the spirit, you know, how that's addressed, hey, man, stay tight and stay in order, you know, just in case. So, like I said, when, when certain situations happen and occur, it's second nature, you know? You're not, you're not emotional. You're not overreacting, you know what I'm saying? You, you're able to uh, uh, stay locked in. You know, and by doing that, when situations happen, instead of things moving super, super fast in the spirit, it's going to move uh, slow at a slower pace, man, to where you're going to be locked in. Okay, and really, the spirit is going to be guiding you, you know? Keep reading, bro. Uh, Go for mm -hmm. uh, that reminds me of being proactive instead mm -hmm. of reactive. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're proactive, you do the work beforehand, before the situation mm -hmm. arrives. It's mm -hmm. like the brother saying, we do everything, every camp. Where people may just pass by, we may not have any interactions, mm -hmm. but we move in that way to be proactive. So when the things do come, we're already prepared. Yeah, don't you know, shake it. Right, as a, as opposed to a person that's reactive, right. they're acting out mm -hmm. as soon as the problem comes, and that may leave room for schisms. Schism. Mm -hmm. So just a man back, because <laughs> synonyms, synonyms are perfect. That's why we always read in the scripts, the, it tells us to trim. Which, mm -hmm. when you go into trim, it means the work to uh, prepare, preparation. Exactly. Also, you said what? Be proactive instead of reactive, which can you, another, you know, thing is being logical instead of irrational. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. when you're logical, you're premeditating your moves. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. And when you're irrational, you're just working off of emotion and in that very moment. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. There's um in the, in, the, in the industry that I work in, there's a saying, you want to stay ready so you don't have to get ready, mm -hmm. you know? And the reason why that is is because <laughs> when you act and you're not ready, you never do anything right. Yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't handle it. You can't, you know, a lot of times the pressure that's coming from the other side um, is so potent because you're not ready. It just breaks through your act, you know? So things start to reveal themselves. But if you're ready already... And you have that 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 have that order. You, it can't. You 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 you're forced to be reckoned with at that point. You know. Well, that goes into Colossians, staying rooted. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures say what? Stand fast in the Lord. Yeah. All right. So if you stand fast in the Lord, that means you're already uh, ten toes down. You're already ten, ten, steps, ahead. ten steps ahead. You're secure. That's fifteen. You know what I'm saying? All right. So when when that boisterous wind comes, which aka Jacob's trouble comes, mm -hmm. you will be able to stand. You're that one who built the house on the uh, on the rock mm -hmm. and not on the sand. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Bring it real quick. Let me get back to the Matthew. This mm -hmm. is Hebrews thirteen and fifteen. Mm -hmm. It says, "By him, therefore, let us mm -hmm. offer the sacrifice of praise to Yahweh continually. Mm -hmm. That it, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks." To his name. See, and one thing that you know we should all have in the forefront of our mind is that when we go to the highways and the byways and we're and we're uh, on the streets, man, we're coming as representatives of Yahweh by Shai. Mm -hmm. You know, the the scriptures instruct us not to be brawlers, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh revilers, you know, be out there just, you know, starting shit, man. You know, mm -hmm. pretty much to be a, a a beacon and the vessel of peace. Okay, like. Like, uh, like even like the captain uh, spoke of when the Edomite was trying to provoke him and get him to, you know, say something that he could use against him. Hey, the Heavenly Father's going to do this. The Lord's going to judge. All right. Uh, uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8 instructs us, man, to uh, be patient, man. Okay. And wait for the, uh, uh, our Lord to rise to the prayer. Mm -hmm. We just here to deliver the message, man. Hey, don't shoot the messenger, man. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. John, this is verse 17. 16. Uh, Salakia, this is verse 16. It says... But to do, but to do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifices, mm -hmm. Yahweh is well pleased. See, and I, the Spirit had me uh, bring that precept, the, the land back up with the officer. Iraq said, okay, as far as being proactive, 
okay? Which one thing is to do good, okay? Of course, on your day-to-day, -day, but also on the highways, okay, and to communicate. And one uh, really good thing to uh, be in the habit of, you know, as an individual and as a camp, you know, as far as being proactive is to communicate. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shalom, I'm on the way. Shalom, I'm running a little late. Shalom, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm headed downtown. That level of communication uh, helps helps and goes a, a long way, okay, uh, uh, for the leadership of our camps, okay, because, you know, you know, brothers who have to, you know, set up and establish camps, gotta, you know, they're, they're thinking of, uh, you know, uh, line up, how many men they have, what time it is, Who's how long, you said what? Who's on the way? Who's on the way? How long camp is going to go? You know, who has the camera? Who has the trial? Who has the charge? Who has the signs? You see what I'm saying? These are all things that uh, uh, brothers in the leadership of our camps, they're, they're thinking about that on the way to camp, you know, or, or, you know prior to camp. Mm -hmm. So doing good and also remembering not to communicate, uh, remembering to communicate, that's a form, a great form and fashion of uh, being proactive, you know what I'm saying, to land back off what the officer said. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, that word communicate, when you go into it, if I'm not mistaken, the Greek word there is uh, son of thesis, if I'm not mistaken. And when you go into it, it says to share uh, one, uh, to share one of anything. So meaning you're supposed to share anything that you got going on at the moment. And that's just, you know, the brother was saying, oh, you can't, but hey, you, you may have to share with, you know, a particular brother you may be comfortable with, of course. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm going through something right now. Mm -hmm. All right. There's something called, uh, and also there's something called being back too over bashful. Yeah. You may be struggling like a mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can, and you so happen to communicate it, and the brother is offering help. Oh no, brother, you know, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. it's like no, the brother is offering you help because you communicated your issue. Mm -hmm. All right, communication is a big thing. Now, if you don't say anything, you might be screwing yourself over. Mm -hmm. You gotta open open your mouth, man. Because mm -hmm. what it said, the scriptures say what it's a sac it's a good sacrifice. I took the Lord for my for, for which such sacrifices sacrifice. the Most High is well pleased. Well pleased. Yeah. You got to communicate with the Lord. The scriptures tell you to uh, prepare that mind before you, uh, you know, pretty much say your prayer to the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord already knows what you need, yeah. but you have to communicate it. Mm -hmm. You know, you may be lacking wisdom and not say nothing. The Lord is going to look at you. Mm -hmm. like, you didn't say nothing. Well, how come you didn't? Because you didn't say nothing. Yeah. You see? Oh, his mouth going to get fed. That's mm -hmm. it. Read uh, verse 17. Did we read 17? Read it. Yeah. Hey, bring out again. Yeah. 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 This is uh, Hebrews 13 and 17. It says, Obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves. Yeah, be obedient and submit yourselves. Okay? Uh, uh, come in the spirit of being a, a subject, being under subjugation. Yeah. All right, go ahead, bro. Time. For they, for they watch for your souls mm -hmm. as they that must give an account. That they may do it with joy and not with grief, mm -hmm. for it is unprofitable for you. And yeah. like, like uh, Spirit have us even talking about, you know, the leadership of our camps. They have to give an account not only to Yahweh Bashanah and Shai, okay, but to the apostles and elders as well. Mm -hmm. you no, know, for like, like we, like the Spirit has going to as far as us being one body. And that's you no know, things. Anything that happens is in, in one portion of the body, you know, reflect, re uh, affects and reverberates to the whole body. You know what I'm saying? If anything happens out there, they have to give an account also to the apostles and the elders, man. Okay. It, it, it's a lot because if I can say the incident that we had at CNN was a different, you know, outcome. Mm -hmm. So where when when the uh, bishop here he got the counsel from the uh, the elder, he said, "What well, we had to shake the dust on the place." Right. You know, so every situation not going to be the same. That's why you always got to take take heed. You got to be circumspect when you at camp. You know, you gotta watch other brothers. You know, you gotta watch to see if you on point first. Of, first of all, mm -hmm. you know, it's just you ain't, you ain't just going out to camp just to say you there, man. Right. You know, it's actually a duty, man. Mm -hmm. But you got it, bro. Come, come. You finished that verse, right? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Uh, let's get back to Matthew ten. Get through verse twenty, then we can open up for it, brother. Come. Uh, Matthew ten and eighteen. It says, "And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake." For a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Yeah, see, so this is just the beginning, man. You know, the you know, as far as uh, interactions and engagements that we that we can have on the highways and byways, there's no telling how high it can go up, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether 
uh, the apostle spoke to how uh, when not when the, the the attack on the World Trade Center happened, how you know the, mm -hmm. they came and got grabbed up from, from the uh, from the authorities, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's just important to just stay tuned to the spirit, and the and the spirit conducts and does things in proper uh, uh, order, man. Go ahead, bro. Matthew ten and nineteen. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Right. And this comes through also uh, uh, spiritual preparation. All right. Being able to uh, stay in tune with the spirit. Okay. Because you're moving with the spirit and you're moving with wisdom. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're if you used to just moving and doing things and you see how your how me, how shot is constantly guiding you. You see what I'm saying? Moving you, redirecting you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you you, you uh, recognize the spirit telling you to do certain things and to not do certain things. In that hour of temptation, okay, or, or when certain things uh, come uh, to your face, you ain't got to worry about it, man. You just continue doing what the uh, the Lord has already showed you works, you know. Go ahead. Come, verse 20. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Right, even going back to camp. You see what I'm saying? It's not us that speaking directly. Now, of course, you know, physically, yeah, we're speaking, okay, but... We're just vessels that Yahweh Bashim Shai is using the Holy Spirit to push forth a certain message that he wants to be delivered, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And and with that, like Brother is saying, comes a certain level of duty and responsibility. Okay? In which we're we're not here to, to smear uh uh our nation, okay, and we're not here to prove how big and bad we are. You know what I'm saying? We're here to do the work of a prophet, man. All right, mm -hmm. to, to bring forth understanding of the scriptures, all right, to uh 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 uh, bring forth judgment, okay, to, to uh, individuals, whether it be good or bad, all right, and to uh, ultimately help to bring forth meat, uh, uh, fruits, meat for repentance, man, okay, because uh, we want to uh, have as many souls, okay, uh, delivered in, in, uh, to salvation as we possibly can, because that increases uh, uh, our productivity in the spirit, which increases our chances of being saved, man. And, and uh, our time of being. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bro's got it. Bro's got anything? Yeah, this is uh, that's quite a piece of right here. This is uh, Romans chapter 12 and uh, verse 17. It says, Recompense to, to no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men. That's the, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. provide things honest in the sight of all men. You can, if you provide pretty much keep, keep it to the scripts, then you have no art, no schism. Right? Mm -hmm. I've been holding this Timothy, I'm just going to paraphrase, I don't get it. But the qualifications for a bishop and the qualifications yeah, yeah. for a deacon. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And but when you when you read both the qualifications for a deacon and a bishop, the bishop comes before the deacon, uh, they both say you have to be blameless. Yeah. And and uh in sample too. In mm -hmm. an example. That's yeah. a, that's in uh, uh second Thess second Thessalonians or chapter three, three. verse uh you start at six on down, where it tells pretty much Paul is telling the Thessalonians, hey, we did this, we acted this way, not to be have power over uh, you yeah, or yeah, rule yeah, it, yeah. but to be an example unto you, mm -hmm. to know that he ought to follow us. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing in, in, in our nature. That's why we don't recompense in that situation. Right. Now, dude over here trying to well that brothers, yeah. all right, you know, yeah, but that's, that's it's righteous. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, you know, your black eye for mine. <laughs> so, but, you know what I'm saying? But, but we're not going out there to do that, though. That's, 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 that's not what we're going out there to do. To recompense evil for right. evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, verse 15. Yeah, if it be possible, if it be possible. Yeah, exactly. Because this is what the brother, the officer your dad was saying in the inception of the video. We just, Jay just want to chill, bro. Mm -hmm. We just want to prophesy in peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. And tell you that your world is bullshit mm -hmm. and a missile will come and destroy it. We just want to tell you that in peace. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Come yeah. on, it, says, it says, if it be possible, right. as much as lieth in you, as much as more than you. Go ahead. I'll if I can speak to that, bro, because like the brothers had mentioned as far as the growth of our particular camp, right. you know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. you know, we coming up uh, under leadership Hey man, that's a testament to our leadership, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but previous to our the leadership that we had in our uh, camp now, the, that that leadership 
was you know that leader okay and you know has how he established uh leadership in in the camp man we didn't we didn't have the the capacity to move the way that we did last saturday you know what i'm saying but that like i said that through being orderly and through following and trusting um the holy spirit that is working with our leadership we all it showed that we've all grown right you know what i'm saying that's a testament to our leadership but it's also a reflection and showed that we've all grown man Right. Okay, and that's and that's really, you know, I want to say that's what it's all about, but that's a major portion of what it's about. Continuing to grow. Glory to glory, man. The scriptures say abound. And also, this brother, uh, Officer uh, Arad, and then Captain Lamar, we, and, and myself, we kept about bringing out that word, what? Temperance. Mm -hmm. Which means pretty much self-control. Yeah. Right? Oh, brothers had to control themselves. Mm -hmm. Right? The scriptures say, uh, Pretty much in Proverbs, it's paraphrasing. He who has rule over his spirit. Yeah, you know what I'm getting at. You right, Con. You know what I'm saying. So we, a lot of brothers had to have rule over the spirit, even if they were being, you know, touched and yeah. things of that nature. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying. But a lot of temperance was shown as well for us to not, quote unquote, you could say, retaliate mm -hmm. in a certain manner. We retaliated with the scripts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. You got it. Uh, yeah. yeah. And he was destroyed too. Because mm -hmm. yeah. at the end of the. You know, when the camera cut off, he was screaming and he was being a devil, man. Yeah, and it was that's the spirit you said that because even when the camera cut off, I'm, I'm not sure the brothers noticed, but it was a red light, and then pe the people at the red at the red light were still recording. Oh, for mm -hmm. real? Yeah. yeah. So even when brothers cut our camera off, we were still being recorded and still mm -hmm. held ourselves together. So. Hey, you know, well, we were still being recorded after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, even after that. Oh, the Lord of 10,000 times. Exactly. So the Lord had a hedge around us anyway. So, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Hey, if I could say too, real quick, if I finish this precept, you know, this is, you know, something that you can use in your day to day as well. Like, you can avoid a lot of bullshit mm -hmm. by just being in order. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can go to work and Esau's being an asshole, but if you find a way to stay in order and, you know, kind of, you can, mm -hmm. you can get through that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere you go, you go to the yeah. grocery store. Tripping. Well, I'm going to go that way. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's being yeah. wise. Yeah. Being an Israelite, it, it's not meaning you're showing your, your dominance at all times. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just unwise. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's how these other cats be going. They, they always get caught on camera going against the scriptures because they try to show the world who they are. Mm -hmm. And the Lord will reveal who we are, man. That's them clearly not fully understanding mm -hmm. Isaiah 41 and 14. Yes, you yeah. are just a worm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna lie, I work, I see it's a hot day or something, and the sun's out, I see a worm squirming in the in the scorching yeah, concrete. Us. I pick him up and he needs help. Yeah. But these, you know, these other Israelites want to portray it like, and this is, I'm gonna say, yeah, the circumcision. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. you got the individuals of circumcision who still act like a heathen. And still blatantly want to go off, all right. And they don't understand that, that you're just a worm, bro. Like right. e easy, easy. Mm -hmm. You need help. You 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 showing all this and oh, baby, oh, look what we doing. You know what I'm saying? You're not putting yourself as a sheep. You think you're something, and you're really not. The scriptures say that. The man who thinks you know, what's that? First Corinthians eight eight, eight, mm -hmm. eight two. Yeah. If a man think he knows something, he knows nothing. Yeah, exactly. Your brother, yeah. you know, yeah. these brothers, they don't, they don't got it, man. Mm -hmm. Got right? it. No type of humility in them. You got it, Captain. Mm -hmm. right. It's uh, Romans twelve and eighteen again. It says, "If it be possible, mm -hmm. as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I read verse nineteen. Yeah, yeah. It says, "Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, right. but rather give place unto wrath." For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord your house. It says give place. Really, and when you read that, when you read that verse, really wait your turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because how is is gonna get vengeance? It's gonna trickle on down to us. Yeah. Just wait. That, that's going to the point that you made about being a vision. Because I, I believe it, it also mentions uh not soon to anger. To anger. That's it. You know, so you got to, like how you mentioned as well, you got to learn how to rule your spirit. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we first, a lot of brothers, you know, every brother's not the same, of course, 
But a lot of brothers, when they first come into camp, they don't know how to rule their spirit. So every single thing, it ticks them off. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, you get hot. Cause it, we, I think we did the lesson, or we mentioned it with the class that y'all brothers did, about how, uh, uh, you know, I will body it. Um, by ruling your spirit, and I brought out that picture about when, when you hot, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. spirit is flame. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you gotta learn how to control that. Like, what's that? Uh, that super, that superhero. I, I did Fantastic Four. Oh, the, 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 the flame dude. Flame dude. He had to learn how to control it, man. And that's the same way you got to be in the spirit. Yeah. Good job, brother. And if I can pull, if I can um, make a quick point. Um, even uh, we see that now also as far as um, the, George, the George Floyd case, man, okay? These cities got cameras everywhere. You see what I'm saying? When, 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 we, when you leave your home, always be in the mindset and presumption that you're always being recorded, man, okay? Because Esau wants to be as the most high. He wants to be omnipotent, man. He wants to be everywhere, see everything, and hear everything. And like I said, just as a, a, a recent event that's, that's going on, that George Floyd case, on that corner, they had, man, it was multiple cameras that were seeing everything. And then people would pull out their phones and recording. Always be in the mindset and presumption that you're always being recorded, that the mic is hot, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, yeah. It's a lot, man. I just want to say shout out to, yeah, to the elders absolutely. on the common board and the hockey on the common board. Yeah, shout out to Las Vegas. Yeah. Shout out to me. Shout out to me. Shout Shalom, Elder Yashawamba. You know, Shalom, uh, Bishop, yep, Elder Bishop. Rakazal, Bishop of Tazawam. Shalom, my king. Shalom, Shalom. Hey, right, you got it, brother. Uh, I was going to say, too, to add to your point, not only <laughs> does Esau have a want to be an all I a what did it say, the Lord's eyes are, are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. sun. And we also have the angels giving account of all our actions. Mm -hmm. So that's a form of watching too. Right. The angels were about Yahweh Shah was in the midst too. Mm -hmm. Because it says when two or more are gathered in his name, he is mm -hmm. in the midst of these. Mm -hmm. All right. So in knowing that, we have to conduct ourselves in a way in which is conducive to the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. No matter what. You know, because let's say it wasn't cameras or brothers didn't record him. The Lord watching, the Lord yeah. sees. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So that's an even more uh, reason or an incentive to be in order. That's mm -hmm. why I should say let all things be done decently. Yes, 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 yes. Not just sometimes, here and there. Yes, right. right. When you, or when the camera on. Mm -hmm. feel like it. Exactly. You know, you feel like it. Exactly. Now, exactly. When, you, when, you, when you at your house and you got your shoes off and, and you just bobbing <laughs> out, man, you got to do it decently in your order. Yeah, yeah, get a nigga in your house, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah, that's yeah. If I could just add say real quick, um, you, hey, the, the most high, that's the most important reason why you need to be in order. Absolutely. You know, because hey, he, he can make something happen to you. Yes. Oh, you yeah, know, he, he can he can reach out and touch you real quick. Um, so so you, hey, you, hey, like, like the officer said, when two or more gathered in my name, I'm in the midst, your hollow shop is there. Right. For watching. Like, right. hey, so what y'all gonna do? Right. You know? Let's see. Let's see. I got a quick precept. Oh, yeah. um, this is Proverbs 15 and 1. It says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. This that situation, that's that's a that that right there is an example of future events to come. You know, because this is not gonna be the last time this is gonna happen. There's gonna be more that's gonna come up. And grievous words stir up anger. When you say certain things, things that he was looking for, like like, like he was looking for us to say, oh, you're going to kill white people. Right. See? I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. When you don't, you don't say a certain grievance. Mm -hmm. When it says, the tongue of the wise uses knowledge um, uh, uses knowledge aright. Mm -hmm. So the captain, he used his knowledge and he gave the answer, the correct answer. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He said, we saying what the Lord said. Mm -hmm. And that was the correct answer right there. You know, and it says, but the mouth of fools poured out foolishness. Now, what was this man doing? He was pouring out perverse foolishness to try to get us aroused, you know? And 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 what did we do? Uh, 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 from the top to the bottom, we applied wisdom, mm -hmm. you know? And we used uh, uh, all these things tying to everything we were saying, communication. We used a carefully selected wording to communicate what we were trying to say <laughs> without giving him what he wanted. Mm -hmm. 
Even though, even though what we're saying is yes, the Lord is going to destroy the wicked, with the wicked actually happens to be AKA Esau Edom, which is a so called white man. But if we didn't say it like that. We said the Lord is going to judge the wicked because mm -hmm. that's what the scriptures say. We only say what the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that's got um, it. Um, yeah, I got some real quick. This is uh, going back in the book of Colossians, chapter 3. And I'm going to start at verse 15. It says, and I'm going to read through uh, verse 17. It says, And let the peace of the Most High rule in your hearts. Mm -hmm. To which also ye are called in one body, which you spoke about as a body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Hamashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or or, or deed, mm -hmm. do all in the manner and the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, yes. giving cool. thanks to the Most High. Giving thanks to the power and the Father by Him. That's it, right there. That's what. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that, that hey, was it. I, I just, hey, we can bring it out, man. Hey, you want to do things according to the Most High, man, according to His power. Yeah. You know, because if you do things that way, you can't go wrong. Right. You can't go off. You know, Esau is a setup master, man. He's he's constantly laying traps and snares, and, and, and from the from the from. From the ones that, that's on the highest on the totem pole to the ones on the bottom, because ultimately all of them hate Jake. You know what I'm saying? They they hate the word that's coming that, that that that's coming out. So they're going to continue to set up traps and snares for us. You know. So what we got to do? We got to stay in order according to Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai, and He's going to keep us in a safe place. You know. The scriptures say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. He that runs into he, he that uh, runs into it is safe. So we stand in that name. We stand in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You can't stay in the name if you ain't standing in His order. That's you know. Yeah. Uh, anybody got any closing precepts? Come, yeah. Okay. One more. Bring it. <laughs> this is um. So like, this is uh First Timothy chapter four, and uh, starting verse eleven, it says these things command and teach. And, uh, you know, the point keeps coming out to teach. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not to, not to go out there and you know put hands on people, but to teach. Right. It <laughs> says. Let no man despise thy youth, but and for anybody that was watching that that camp or who was out there, you know that was sincerely, you know, trying to get to your house shot. We played a, a, a critical example mm -hmm. to that person, whether it be a woman or a young man or an older fella, whoever, who, who an Israelite who was sincerely trying to get to your house shot. Hey, the guys watching on the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. You now, had we stomped the mud hole in Esau ass. I mean, on the outside, we've been looking like that. Mm -hmm. This is what Jim mess about. Bro. Exactly. And he exactly. really do too much to him. They even stomp him out like this. Exactly. That's perfect, bro. You got exactly. it. It says, uh, verse 12, says, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Yeah. Yeah, because had we acted outside of what the scriptures say right there, that might have turned the man away from the exactly. house watching the outside. Right. Like, hell no, nah, they brawlers and they beating up white people. Right, right. I don't want no parts of that. Hey, that's just, that's what the script say. I know the brother Nathaniel was in was in second uh, Philippians chapter two, but mm -hmm. in there it says, Let nothing be done through strife mm -hmm. and glory. That word strife it goes into contentions mm -hmm. and fightings. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You got it all. Yeah, that's, Con, uh, yeah uh, that's it, man. We can close it out. Con, so, uh, you know, Lord willing, you know, the audience has been edified. Before we close out, of course, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, 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 Double honors to our apostles, our elders, great millstone, will lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to our occupation, the word, truth, faith, city, across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.